Hi and welcome to the third and final video of this video series where I do redesign live on camera. So you see all my thought process and you see all the mistakes and the full process basically. And this is the third and final video, so we will wrap this product up. We will add the ambiences, we will create a specialization for the different sounds. We will mix it, we will master it and basically wrap it all up. Make some small adjustments to different things and everything like that. So this is a really fun one and full product have been really, really awesome and really fun to do. Before we dive into redesign, if you are new to sound design and you want a head start to the competition and you want to start to apply for internships and different positions at different companies, is you will need a showreel that's always the bottleneck and they will always ask for that and if you want a little bit of guidance I have created a little cheat sheet for you this cheat sheet covers how long your showreel should be what you should have in it what you should start with what's important to cover what's important to maybe not cover should you have music in it should you not everything like that so if you want that go ahead and download it it's totally free of course and now let's dive into the redesign all right so i haven't done anything to the design this time either so i will just start with taking a listen to where we're at and then i will just print an audio version of that so we we know where we started this session so we can go back and listen to if we have enhanced it or or not so yeah let's let's start with taking a listen to it Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Um, it feels very, very dry. Uh, it doesn't feel like natural. It does the sound doesn't feel that they're in this open space, this exterior space. Uh, so we will definitely need to work with that, uh, and we don't get a feeling of like the environment, the space that we're in with the, the trees and everything. Um, I'm not super happy with the teleport yet either. So. Possibly I will do something more to that. Uh, we have some level issues also that we will take care of in when start mixing this. And then we will do uh, some mastering to this also, just some slight stuff, just to enhance it a little bit more, make it a little bit more uh, bigger. But I want to start with uh, some ambiences here. So my idea for ambiences is to basically paint like three layers often, sometimes two, but often three. So I, I want to first just paint the landscape of the the, the big environment that we're in so if we take a look at this we have like the trees over here uh, that like some wind is just blowing in that so just a little bit of, of feeling that we're outside that we're out in open air and then I I want to add some spot backgrounds just some small pieces where we can when there's like a gap in the story when there's a little bit of breathing room we can add in some stuff to just tell a little bit more about the story so I think there are some spots that we might be able to add in some birds possibly or something like that and then we will get into uh, delays and reverbs and stuff but but we start with just adding in those ambiences and and the spot backgrounds so i have some uh, collected over here a lot of birds yeah that could work I think this could work also. All right, so let's start with this. Let's uh, solo it and just boost the volume a bit, just so we hear it a little bit more clearly when we're working with it. Um, all right, that was too much. Yeah, this is kind of a lively wind uh, with an open field, but but. Um, And that howling, I, I'm not 100% in love with that rumbling noise. Maybe this is better. Or we can have a little bit of, of both. Uh, so we can have this like uh, as our super wide ambience. And then we can have this as a slightly more narrow one. And then we can have some backgrounds on top of that. Because this feels like more like 
the wind like blowing over, this, over like um, some leaves and stuff just much more close so this feels more close than this so we can make this even wider uh, and we can just enhance it a bit so we get even more of that feeling and then we can uh, have this yeah yes Yeah, something like that could work. We can always come back to it uh, later. I just um, just want to paint the big picture uh, now in the beginning. Let's see. When she lands and she, uh, just when she has blown her hair, th there's a little bit of like pause in the visuals. Basically, it, it feels like we could add something there. So I thought about some birds there maybe. And it can sound a bit cartoony and silly but it can also create this like contrast in the story because we have these like heroes banging out on each other uh, but they are doing it in basically a sanctuary it's like some kind of temple and you get this like really peaceful feeling of this place so that contrast is kind of interesting so we can tell a little bit more about that with the audio so if we just add in some bird calls just slightly when we have that small pause in the story and the visuals that could work so let's try it yeah i mean something like this uh, yeah it's uh... Just a short one and it's uh, like later i think somewhere around here i mean this is uh, like i said with with so many other things it's it's a trial and error some stuff works some stuff doesn't work but i get an idea and i want to try it out and the more times you do that the the better ideas you get basically all right so let's try it in context it sounds really weird like this hmm yeah maybe that instead Yeah, something like that. Uh, that could actually work. It's like just in between those uh, two voc uh, vocalizations uh, from him and her. So that that's like basically... 101 background design so you have a little bit of gap then you add in some spot backgrounds that tells a little bit more about the space that we're in so you're in a bar and two people are talking to each other and they have a little bit of gap in their discussion you can add in some background conversations from the tables around or something like that um so this is a perfect spot we have a little bit of gap and uh, not much happening and we can just add in that tiny bit of, of bird call there so just take a listen one more time yeah yeah it works so uh let's not uh, get too hung up on the, on the ambiences i think that that could work maybe we can find some more uh, spots for some backgrounds but the, the later part of this is really really intense so i think it will make 
yeah, basically did not make sense to add in something more, but if we find something later, we, we add it in later. I want to go up to the return tracks instead. My philosophy for working with exterior scenes like this is to basically not use reverb. And, and th my idea here is to, I mean, reverbs are basically delays, but they are so many, so you can't like perceive it as individual delays. You just perceive it as a cloud of reverb. And that what happened in a room like this, I my voice uh, bounces off that wall and then that wall and it bounces off all the other walls and I can just hear that like blur of of those uh, delay taps and that creates the reverberation of this room. But if you're outside, we don't have any walls that can bounce off that quickly it's not that small space we don't have a ceiling and everything so if we take a look at this space here it's just open air but but we will have some reflections we will have some reflections from the ground from the rocks over here from the forest over here and the trees so my idea here is to just remove the reverbs and work with the de de delays instead and my plan here is to use one short and one slightly longer delay. So one short for the reverberation from, as I said, the ground here and uh, like the rocks and stones. And then we have a, a slightly longer one that reflects from the, the trees and, and everything like that. So we, we build it up like that. We have the ambiences down here with the, the like long sweeping ambiences that just tell the story of, of the overall environment that we're outside. Then we have some spot backgrounds, and but then we need to place all the sounds that our characters are doing inside of there too. So everything feels like we're connected to this environment. And if we're in a uh, interior uh, scene, then we can absolutely use uh, reverb, but in this case, I think delays are a better choice. So uh, they are set at minus 12 or so. Yeah, it feels like like that could work. So I will use the the routing uh, routing matrix for this. So it's just because I will route so many things. Uh, so because I will basically route all everything I got into these uh, or, or at least all diegetic sounds so like bushes mm, I I leave them out for now because they are non diegetic they're not like really a part of this environment so I don't want it to be a part of the reverberation or the delay taps in the environment because they are added on top and it's just uh, something that's not not connected but we can of course add it in but i i will start out with not having him in there uh, the vocalizations can be in here too they would probably be so little of them send over to these so uh, uh, they will not have too much delay on them but but we add them in there uh, the ambiences uh if we think of the space now, uh, and as I said, the, the, the function of these delays are to reflect both the, the, the near surfaces here and the second near, like the medium uh, range uh, surfaces. And then the ambience is actually almost even further away from that. They, the birds are in the trees here and it's a wind in the trees. So then I don't want these delays to be a part of the ambiences. So I leave ambiences out of the delays here too, but I send everything else into them. Uh, the teleport is uh, questionable. We can have it, we can not have it. it it's If we think that uh, the characters hear that, then it should be there. So I, I leave it in for now. Also sweeteners, but sweeteners are basically layers of other sounds. So I want them in there and that could be true for whooshes also. So it's also like you have to pick and choose these, what feels right. Uh, but I start like this. So then we take uh, the short one here. We just reset this to factory default. 100% uh, wet. Uh, can have a little bit offset from the right and the left channel. Uh, I don't want any drive to this and I don't want any feedback and I want this to be really short one like 40 50 milliseconds or so. Let's take a listen to to this first one. So we can 
I will listen to this and, and like make the delay settings uh, listening to it in like 50-50 mix. Uh, but then I will, this is a return track. So instead of that, we I will reduce that or I will increase it to 100% and use the, the return track. But but just when I'm setting up the basic uh, settings of it, I, I will just have a little bit of dry mix into it also. Yeah, so if this would be longer would sound like really just weird and, and artificial but that is really good just adds that little bit of feeling that we hear a little bit of the environment around us so yeah that that feels good right away and feedback is uh, down to zero on this and that, that's true for the next one too i just want like one i don't want them to linger on and have a long delay tail to them so let's just uh, make something similar with this one. Did I increase that to 100? No, I forgot that. So do the same here, 50% for now. Uh, no drive, no feedback, but this will be a slightly longer one, I think. Uh, or it, it should definitely be a longer one. And, and I want a little bit more offset to this too. Because this is like not the, the really close environment and the really close environment, the bounces from that is we, we perceive it with less stereo feel basically. But uh, this is the secondary uh, like range. So the walls and stuff around us here, the, this temple and the forest. And we the environment around us is not like equal on both sides. So I want a little bit of offset from the right and left ear. And, and in, in Timeless 3, you can do this with just uh, adjusting this. So something like that, maybe. We have to try it out, of course. Uh, no feedback here either. And let's take a listen to, to this. Yeah, I think this, uh, since this is a, also a longer delay, we should high cut it a little bit longer down in the frequency uh, spectrum because less of the high energy comes back since it's a longer travel for the sound basically. Then we can diffuse this a little bit more uh, because there, there's more stuff that, that surrounds this. Yeah, we have to <laughs> uh, fix those vocalizations. Those, those are way too, too loud. Uh, let's reduce them by like 10 or so okay um yeah all right so let's listen to this together with other stuff and then we can set the volume here and then we can adjust how much of the different um, layers we are sending into this so let's have a listen yeah it's overall too loud That, that feels good. All right, so let's take the first one too. Yeah, that feels really nice actually. So without, we just listen to the first part here. And with. It adds that feeling of it's connected into the space a little bit more. It's really subtle and, and it should be really subtle because otherwise it would sound like otherworldly and uh, yeah, just weird and, and off. We're just here to, we're just doing this to make it sound a little bit more natural and connected to the environment. So uh, I like that and just, just leave that for now. Um, this sub layer is almost the opposite of the, of the first ones. Uh, this will have more of a cinematic uh, uh, function basically. So we will add some sub to some of the layers and we will not route as many as we routed to, to the first one. Uh, but basically the, the other sounds that we didn't route into the delays are the ones that we will route into this. So I will take the teleport. Uh, then the like non-didactic, the whoosh, maybe. The sweeteners, maybe that that's it actually. And then we will work with our base here. 
and I will uh, modulate uh, the intensity here. Something like that. Bypass. I had a, an EQ after here. We can just bypass that for now. So yeah, just adds that that low end punch to these sounds. And then it, since we have it on a return track, we can just dial in as much of it uh, as we like. And sometimes I actually like to pull out my mixer windows for stuff like this. Uh, just like to see the meter sometimes. So yeah, let's have a listen from the beginning with everything. I think uh, this is probably... Yeah, we have to do something with the teleport later, but just adjusting a little bit. All right, so uh, let's take it back a notch. I don't think it's the, uh, it's not the gain, it's the, it's the sound itself. Uh, I have to fix that. Uh, one thing that I heard uh, that I just, uh, have to fix uh, before we're moving on is this uh, this foley for him when he is pulling up the sword from the ground it's very wide in the stereo field and I just probably have missed this um, and since this is so far back in, in the visuals and he is centered in the visuals I mean it shouldn't have any kind of stereo image because we're not hearing it from there to there it's just centered there so uh, these two layers are in stereo and they shouldn't be nope so let's make this mono and that's even worse all right so let's have a listen to this instead That's way better. And then, then we can just reduce the volume of them too. Yeah, that's better. I think we will have to make some more adjustments to some, uh, some levels. Uh, but before we do that, I want to set up a basic uh, mastering chain for this. And uh, the reason that I do that before is uh, then I have a clearer... Um, idea of what sound sticks out more what sticks out less and stuff like that if i have like basically the same idea as if you're mixing a song i want to mix into the mastering chain basically so we have um pro l here we can just gain it a tiny bit of volume and then i want m spectral dynamics uh, this is FFT processor, very similar to uh, Sood and Gullfuss if you have used those. Um, but I find this to, I, I like how much control I have over this, uh, basically. Yeah, there we can see how much... Uh, the the teleport is doing how loud it is in the mix and it should be loud it's an important part but not too loud yeah so 
what we see here is the frequencies over time and then we have the gain reduction over time uh, over time up here and this is like the the threshold uh, of this and you can set the attack and release for these two individually and i'm just focusing on setting that threshold and when i saw that the teleport is making the plugin do way more processing then i just reduce the volume of the teleport a slightly bit and then i continue to adjust this and we're doing like a couple of db here and there up to 5 db or so so nothing super crazy it just tucks stuff in and just makes it feel a little bit better in the mix overall basically um then I usually use uh, some kind of sued settings, uh, especially in scenes like this where we have. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, like these metal scratches and stuff uh, are kind of harsh. Uh, so I just want to tame that a little bit. Yeah, we have those. Uh, knives and then when he pulls up the sword yeah that sounds good um a little bit of compression i really like oh not in course in compression i like ships parallel particles Parallel uh, compressor that I really like the sound of. Let's uh, show the mastering track over here instead so we don't have to go back and forth. Um, this is way, way too aggressive. Uh, something like that. We can unlink these and just reduce the input volume a little bit. And uh, we can have it like this a little bit of bass some more bass to this i think uh, around 50 60 hertz or so Yeah. So listen to the first part there without it. I, I just pause it right after here. Just glue it in uh, a little bit more, adds a little bit more energy to it. And uh, we can just take uh, a look at the gain metering here. Around 2.4. Uh, decibels of gain reduction uh, when we have it engaged and yeah so we're actually not making the sound louder on peak level at least it's it's the same volume but it just feels bigger and more punchy yeah so that that sounds really good um let's uh, take a listen uh, through it and see uh, where we're at um Yeah, I think uh, her roar here is a tiny bit too loud. Uh, a lot of the stuff is kind of cool now. Uh, we can take a look at... Yeah, sounds good. Um... I mean, I'm I'm kind of happy with the overall uh, design as as it is uh, of now. Uh, what I'm not happy with is the teleport. So I will see if I can find it. It still feels too like just energy. It's too noisy. It doesn't have any character. It doesn't have the tonality that I'm I'm looking for. So what I think I will do is to add uh, one more track teleport uh, add 
additional layer. We group them together. Teleport. Uh, color them correctly so we know what we're doing. And then I will try to find some kind of magic energy sci-fi sound uh, that I can layer on top of this because I, what I think is the missing piece now is we we had some whooshes uh, in the beginning wh when we made the first version of this sound they sounded like this and I liked um, the movement of those we had that leading in energy and we don't have much of that leading in energy right now now it's just and I like that but we need something to lead into that and I think in the heat of the moment in the last part I kind of missed out on that and I just got so excited about the like percussive part of the sound so I want something to layer in because I don't think this is too noisy I don't think this will work as a layer. So let's see. I will actually dive into my uh, main library and let's see magic, whoosh. Uh, let's see if there's something in the magic arcane forces library. Uh, maybe. Uh, too noisy. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Yeah, yeah, let's try this. And maybe... Maybe we do it like this. So we split it up. Into two parts. When she jumps into the teleport and then when she jumps out of it. Yeah, it's probably too long, but it feels kind of good. Let's see how it works together with other stuff. I just uh, do another one for this part. Uh, I wonder if this is the way to go for this too, or if I should do because this has a longer gap. But yeah, I think this that's, that's the way to go. All right, right, let's listen to the full teleport with those two layers. Yeah, that's cool. So without that. With that. Maybe it's a tiny bit too loud and maybe we can filter out some of the low end. And let's tidy up this a tiny bit. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's take a listen. I uh, almost like the second one more. I will mute this for a second and then I will try to use another one for this. Maybe. Hmm, maybe even try to reverse it. Because we have uh, like a longer build up in the first. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, that's cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's see. Okay, so we mute uh, the first version. Yeah, I don't really like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Let's jump up with that. And uh, mm -mm -mm. I will see if I can do some uh, noise reduction to this first. Uh, let's uh, use M spectral dynamics again, but in denoise mode. Yeah, something like that. Probably have it a little bit more of that in now. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see if we can. I think I will print this to audio so we have a uh, it's easier to uh, get an understanding of where the transients are when we're laying them together. Maybe it should build up because what happens if we do it like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. All right, so let's uh, have a possibly final listen through this. Let's see where we're at. All right, so let's compare this with the version that we had before this part. And the version that we have now. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I want to adjust some more stuff. I want a little bit more, more volume from this and this. And I also want to reduce these two just a tiny bit. I think it's this one. Yeah. All right, uh, one more listen. Hmm. Uh, I can't. All right, no. I mean, it's a lot of small adjustments all the time. I know it's not the most fun thing to see but it's really important to get real uh, just right yeah all right uh, one more listen back yeah that sounds good and feels good. All right, that's it for this uh, video series. And uh, it was a really, really good exercise. And I highly encourage you to do stuff like this. Uh, maybe not live on camera, who knows? Uh, but it's really, really good to make these uh, redesigns uh, and just practice on them. Try to fit in everything. Try to, and, and at least to me, don't give up. Just try again, try again when something isn't quite right, when you did, didn't get it right the first time, like with the teleport in, in this case. Just try again, just do it one more time, just see if it works better than the next time. All right, that's it for this video. And also that's it for this series of videos of three. This has been really, really fun. If you want me to make more of these, let me know in the comments below and I create new longer series like this with really in-depth live sessions. I 
love to do them so just let me know if you want to see more in-depth sound design i can highly suggest this video where i go through a full trailer for heaviosity and how i did that so check that out and take care of each other and i see you in the next one